I could hear the peaceful chords of a piano being played as I walked up to the home of Charlie Birnbaum, a famous piano tuner who has tuned pianos for Frank Sinatra, Liza Minnelli, and Harry Connick Jr. Since 2012, the Casino Reinvestment Development Authority has been trying to seize his home using eminent domain. They claim this is for development purposes to entice new developers to Atlantic City. Well, I've been chasing this story for over a year and a half, and on August 19th, a judge ruled that there was not sufficient grounds to seize Charlie's home. How do you feel right now? I feel great. I feel absolutely joyful. According to Charlie, the judge recognizes that there's been significant changes in Atlantic City. It took Atlantic City's implosion for the judge to say, oh, wait, 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 and he did wait. Charlie considers himself a part of Atlantic City. He raised his family here, he has friends here, and he fell in love with the lighthouse that's right behind his home. He stood in front of that lighthouse with a picture of himself from 1969. There it is. We had a deck when they first bought it which had to be removed, but... <laughs> there it is. So for now, the piano man gets to stay in Atlantic City. You know, it's, I'm surprised he's sad to hear that the casinos have shut down. It sounds like that was part of the reason why he was allowed to stay in his home, because Atlantic City is in the dumps, that they can't justify taking down his house. From 1998 through 2002, more than 10,000 properties in 41 states face condemnation or the threat of it to hand the land to private developers. So it, it, I just, that number to me is startling. What does the Casino Reinvestment Development Authority have to say? I mean, they have put money at the pipe organ in Atlantic City. They put money at Miss America. Now they lost this case to take this house away and develop there. I mean, it seems like the CRDA is not doing so well. Yeah, and I'm still waiting for a comment from them. They technically have 180 days to provide evidence that's sufficient enough to prove that they are going to do something with Charlie's property. If they don't, well then this is final.